It's another Friday, the week's just flying by. I thought it would start to drag, time will slow down because we're all stuck at home, but yeah, it's going really fast. As you know, Mondays and Fridays, I'm packing my eBay orders. Got 21 on eBay and one on Amazon. A nice good mix of orders today. Got high value, medium, and quite a few low value, which tends to be the trend at the moment. But still, orders are coming in. I'm getting that money in, flipping it over. Got a nice lot of stock. So that'll keep me busy for the next few weeks. So looking good there. So let's get this GoPro strapped to my head and see what's sold. So we're gonna start with six of the same item, six different orders, which I think finishes the rest of this line. Four. Four. I had my last six and all six have now sold. So I'm now sold out. They've gone for between £8.50 and £9.99 each. All depends on if I sent offers out to watches. So this one was bought by a subscriber, Jamie. And he wants me to say hi to his 11 year old son, Alex. So yeah, hi Alex. Thanks Jamie for the order, really appreciate it. This separate one without the packaging, which is slightly cheaper. So yeah, thanks again so much. Really appreciate it. Helps support me and the channel obviously and this will be on its way safely to you today so hopefully we'll be with you early next week to mid next week thanks again just check my messages and actually got a second subscriber sale from one of these watches and this one's going to run send a nice message so thanks again run really appreciate it and that'll be again on its way to you i've ventured into the loft and i've sold yet another item from up there and it was this massage chair Really nice thing, gave a good massage as you could tell from the video when I was testing it out. This is Bauer, I think that's how you say it, Siatsu massage chair. This vibrates, these give you a rolly massage, this goes in your neck. Yeah, it's a bit of a massage sensation. <laughs> these brand new, they're like nearly £300, it's quite an expensive brand. I got this originally again a couple of years ago, uh, Amy kept it, she used it for a little while, she's having problems with her back when she was working in the office. I think I got this originally for about £5 at a boot sale, like them two years ago, two, three years ago, however long it was. And it went uh, fairly quickly. Two or three days it took to get £50 plus the postage. So really good mark up there. Bit of a pain to pack because it's an awkward shape, quite long, quite heavy. Got to be careful that these don't get knocked and break. But yeah, if it's £50, I'm more than happy to spend a little while packaging this. Okay, while we're still in lockdown, board games and puzzles have been selling well. I haven't got many um, actual board games for eBay. I send all my board games into Amazon, which have gone really well. But I've sold this one, The Great Game of Britain. Owes me a pound from a charity shop not that long ago. Bought it about a month ago, maybe. So it's gone within the same cycle as it was listed. Just a nice classic game, quite basic, like a board game with pieces and a dice. Uh, just a nice clean thing. And it's gone for 18 99 plus postage. I'm pretty sure before, this whole situation, this was sort of a 10, maybe 12 pound game. So price has gone up a little bit plus the postage. So yeah, nice and light as well. So good sale there. And while I was on that shelf, I should have grabbed this at the same time. This was a well time to pick up from a charity shop. It was sort of the week just before this lockdown situation. People are still buying pasta like crazy. Eggs, flour, all that stuff. So yeah. People are going to start making their own pasta at home if they've got the ingredients. And I found this, I think it was five pounds was it I paid, four or five pounds. It's like a professional pasta maker. This goes on, you wind it up, pasta comes out. Nice thing, made in Italy, quite heavy as well. Comes with its box. Ended up going for 31 99 plus four pound postage. Ah, oh, they finally decided to pay for this order. Just did sell when I was live on Monday, but they finally paid up, I think this morning or last night. And it's for a nice set of Harry Potter hardback Bloomsbury books. Put them back. So this is what I sold. All seven original Bloomsbury Harry Potter books with their dust jackets. Uh, yeah, just got to make sure they're made by Bloomsbury so they're all matching all like the first sort of published editions. Yeah, just making sure they're all in nice condition, not too rough or anything. This one's slightly faded, but the buyer already knows that. And then I just add these couple of extras on the end, just to make it stand out a bit more. £100 I got for this set, plus postage. I have got 
up to 150 pounds before but um, there seems to be more competition at the moment so it all depends on the market obviously people are in people want books to read it's a nice little collection that obviously you pick up books here and there from charity shops or in brute sales just pick them up here and there i keep them in the big box behind me once i've got a set quickly whack it on sell similar hundred and something pound i put best offers on someone offered 100 pound i think it's going to america I know it's gone through the global shipping program, but these can be popular worldwide. So I pulled out all my shoes together. Four shoes going out since late Monday evening. Again, nothing too amazing here. We've got sort of jumble sale pickup here. I think this was like 50 or 40p. These were a five pound boot sale pickup and these to a charity shop. Again, three, four pound here. 14 pound 44 for these regatta lady low uh, like walking shoes. Only £10 for these ones, these have stuck around for ages, so I just took an offer just to get my money back and try again. £16.14 for these guest shoes, like a nice velvet blue type colour, but only owe me 50p from a boot sale, so that was nice. And these have gone for £15, bit of a fail there, not a great markup from £5. I was at the boot sale, I didn't want to keep looking at my phone, so I took a chance. They're like Dr Martins, like a copy, cat type thing. But £15 still made profit, nice and light to post, so not too bad of a risk there. Okay, a nice rugby top. It's just up here. This is from a charity shop championship video, fitness was moulding. I picked this up, £14.99 plus postage, so nice decent mark up there. I can't remember what it owes me. I have to check back on the video, but not too much. By appointment to Her Majesty the Queen, so that's why I took the chance there. Uh, not as much as I thought originally, but for £15 plus the postage, nice standard sale there. Another recent uh, charity shop find here. So it's just on top. This is from a charity shop championship video, I think it was Brentwood. Uh, £10 into £34 plus £5 postage, quite a heavy thing, which is why the postage is a bit more. You're not a big brand or anything, like you can get jackets that sell for strong, strong money, like sort of Alpine Stars or Wolf's things like that this is just sort of a cheaper sort of brand sort of thing small size as well which tends to not fetch as much money as bigger sizes but it just looks cool bit of wear here as well just looks nice that's why I bought it biker jacket and it looks cool just bought it purely because of the looks and it's returned a nice little profit there so happy with that one I love this next item I'm surprised it took so long to sell actually Here it is. This has been sitting around for a long time, but this is my tip of the day. If you have got an item that's lingering around, just change something about the listing on eBay. With this one, I think this was my picture here, just a normal hat with a Budweiser sign, and that's probably why it hadn't sold. I changed the picture, you'll see on the screen here. Yeah, it's light up, as you can see. So that is now the main picture. You can see the lights actually working and it's sold within that cycle of me changing the picture. I've gone from selling sort of a normal hat, I've showed what it actually does and it's sold strong as well. 25 pound plus postage, and this owes me a pound or two from last year's boot sale. I'll actually put a battery in now and show you what it does. Yeah, it just takes a nine volt battery it's in here. You can see all the wires going on. Quite a fragile looking thing, but just plug it in and then there is an on off switch as well actually here we go look at that i don't know if you can see that properly there you go now you can turn it off and turn it on again really cool thing bargain for a pound at the boot sale or at, at most two pound i think it was uh, this was a facebook pickup Took a chance with this one at five pound uh, it was only local so it wasn't far away at all it's been on for two or three months it's just a sharp like a vintage ghetto blaster i love finding these out in the wild they're just so so cool looking but the only thing with this the tape wasn't working i'm pretty sure i could work out how to change the bands and everything but i wasn't messing about because th this wasn't worth as much as i thought and what i've got before for similar ones this is the Sharp GF8080. I ended up getting 23 99 plus postage, which is quite low, but is technically faulty. The radio still works, but obviously there's no CD, so it's literally just a radio that looks cool. So, shame about the tape. 
So again, it just shows if an electronic's not fully working, you can still make a profit and still get your money back. Yeah, I just love how this looks. So cool. Nice. Okay, we're going up here now to the small electronics. And we're getting this. Remember these back in the day? This is a pager. Uh, I think it was made by Philips. Yeah, Philips Zap, Word Zap pager. I thought it was brand new in the packaging when I first got it, but it has been opened. I thought it was new, but it has been opened. You can tell because there's wear and sort of marks on it. Really cool little thing, and it's just extra cool that it did have its packaging. I think that's what helped sell it. This owes me two pounds from my local charity shop. So nice and cheap, and it's gone for 17 pounds plus postage. I tried high, I think I was trying at 35, but um, obviously you can't really use these now, I don't think. I'm not sure if you can or not, but this is more of a collector's item. But yeah, not a huge collector's market, which is why I've brought the price down gradually. But yeah, it's gone for 17 pounds from two pounds. Nice and small and light, not too shabby. Another cheaper sale, but yeah, another cool sort of um, branded item. This is a Michael Schumacher t-shirt. This is from my two pound job lot of items from my Instagram sort of contact I made over the winter. I only got the last handful of items and I'm way into profit so I'm happy to slash prices just to move these last few slower moving bits. Just a nice uh, obviously Michael Schumacher branded thing with a strap going across with his name on and that. Yeah 9.99 plus postage, cheap and cheerful, way into profit so this was just pure gravy. And one more cheap and cheerful item before we get to a couple of big hitters. This was 50p in my local charity shop. I think I got this the same time as the pager. And these have suddenly gone. <laughs> Had to get this, it's from my childhood. The Postman Pat Party Cake Mold. It's just simply a boxed uh, birthday cake tin with this plastic thing inside. I think you put the cake mix in and the cake comes out, Postman Pat and just the cat. Really, really cool. Just a bog standard tin. There's money for this. And the uh, graphics as well, proper, I think 80s is this? Yeah, 1989. So just before my time, I was born in 91. But I love Postman Pat, legend. <laughs> yeah, 5.99 only, 50p to 5.99. I don't normally mess about with stuff like that, but I was a sucker for the graphics and everything. And if it didn't sell, then I'd just keep this and probably have a little go at baking myself. Really cool, brings back happy memories. Okay, last two bigger sales here, and this is a subscriber sale again. I'm sad to see this one go. And didn't get anywhere near as much as I originally thought. Here we go. One of my favorite ever pickups. You would have seen this if you followed me last year at the boot sales. I was really excited picking this up. I think I paid 120 for it at the boot sale. I paid with PayPal, so I didn't have enough cash on me. This is like 1930s, 1940s enamel sign, obviously advertising the film, like the camera film. I'm pretty sure if I was patient enough, I could have got sort of three, four hundred pounds, maybe a bit more. I was trying way up high, like near 800 pounds. Again, bring the price down, bring the price down. But this is the sort of long tail thing. You need to sit and wait for the right person. But obviously I need the money coming in. I'd rather turn it over and a subscriber offered me 180 which I took so after fees and everything from 120 I've made like 50 quid maybe I think but yeah it was slow moving I need the cash in uh, so I'm happy to flip it it's gone to Dan so thanks Dan really appreciate it he deals in um, like advertising signs and things like that so hopefully you find a good buyer for this and make some decent profit and yeah happy to see this go well I say happy I'm actually quite sad to see it go be a really really cool item one of my favorite ever finds love it so that's all my ebay orders picked but now we have an amazon merchant fulfilled and da -da -da -da, the second one has sold already another 335 pound plus a little bit of postage for this lego simpsons house this was again about three years ago uh, i was sort of investing in lego putting them away forgetting about them I got the last two from my local Smith stores of this Lego house. 
7106. Just put them away, I forgot about them. Sort of save it for a rainy day, like I keep saying, which is now. And yeah, owe me about 140, and both have gone for 335. So really, really strong money. And it does show that toys, especially Lego, do increase in value once they stop being made, it's like they get retired. If I was to do Lego, I'd probably give this a go, but I haven't got the patience <laughs> for it. But still really cool. The thing after fees though, if you are selling on Amazon, you've got to take into consideration the fees. If you think eBay fees are annoying, Amazon's take the biscuit. I think after Amazon fees for my 335, I'm getting about 285, 295. So that's a big chunk. But um, again, strong, strong money. Um, yeah, just got to take care on posting it. I'll insure it as well. So it's definitely got there safe and fine. But yeah, really, really welcome sale. But I'm not sure if I'm going to get into obviously investing in Lego because obviously you've got to invest a lot and forget about it for years. And that's not what I'm about at all. So that's probably the last of my Lego investing. And here's today's pile. Overflowing box. But yeah, nice big hitters like the sign, the chair, the Simpsons, medium sized sales as well. Obviously the books as well. And yeah, just the small stuff that's been lingering around for a long time. It's getting out there, getting to new um, owners, so that's all good. Again, keep the money rolling in, like I keep saying, to hopefully invest again and then turn it over again for stronger items. That's the plan, anyway. Uh, yeah, it's getting quite bare. Like this box, our box has got two items in. That's quite full, actually. The toys are quite full. So, yeah, all these are still for sale. I, need an, I think I've got another set here. I think maybe I need one more book. Goblet of Fire I think I need. So one more book and that's another Harry Potter um, set up uh, for sale. My trainers and that, they're getting quite low, half empty or half full, however you want to look at it. Electronics is thin on the ground as well. This is normally overstocked with electronics, but yeah, quite a few that needs listing. That's Amy's stuff mainly. Clothing, still lots of clothing, but I've found that clothing has slowed down a lot. But um, yeah, every now and then it sells anyway, so yeah, getting bare, but I have still got stuff coming in, like I said, a couple of subscriber um, bulk buys, so that'll keep me busy for the next month, I reckon, and then we'll see what happens after a month, obviously everything's changing so quickly, but um, yeah, we'll just have to see, stay tuned. Hope you enjoyed this video, hope you learned something from it, make sure you like the video if you did enjoy it, subscribe if you're not already, to join the fun, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video, have a good weekend. See ya.